Hi everyone, my name is Adele. Erica. My name is Andre. And we are the EEG team under the mentorship of Dr. Professor Delaro. So, uh, we are known for studying the effects of sounds and music in the human brain, and this time we came up with a new research which is focusing on the effects of sugar in the human brain. Uh, there is a research that has been published recently and it shows how sugar is known for being more addictive than heroin and uh, cocaine, which are opioids. So uh, we wanted to focus more on that and specifically we wanted to do something different and look at the frequencies involved with addiction and specifically the brainwave pattern uh, during this process. The main parts of our study is to set up an experimental design after that, we want to analyze and interpret our data through the SARA software and so that we can share our findings with the research uh, scientific community. So, uh, we, uh, during this internship, we discussed a lot about the experimental design and uh, we, after uh, we uh, discussed, we came up with this experimental design and the main part is the eating part. In fact, to study the effects of sugar in the human brain, we have to provide sugar to our participants. And we choose uh, donuts because they're known for being very highly, uh, they, they have very high content of sugar. And, uh, but the most important thing is the pre and the post before this session. Uh, during this time, we're gonna provide to the participants with visual, uh, with a visual simulation, specifically a slideshow of the uh, uh, food that contains a uh, highly content of sugar. And um, in that way, we can have how, uh, we have uh, a lot of information on how the brain responds to the sugar, uh, to this visual aid before and after uh, the session itself. So our initial experimental design consisted in to record the brain waves of all participants while they are eating donuts and juice with higher sugar content. However, this ended up with too many artifacts and we decided to change it to the actual model that Adele just told us about. So the fun fact about the brain is the average weight about our brain is like three pounds approximately and it has a jelly farm texture. A brain freeze is called a uh, esphenopalatine ganglion neuralgia. It occurs when you eat or drink something that is really cold. We have a hundred billion neurons in our brain more than the stars in the galaxy. Also neurons move really fast and the fastest speed for information to pass between our neurons is about 250 miles per hour. Dopamine, one of the neurotransmitters in our brain, is not only related to happiness, it's also related to other functions like nausea, motivation, and motion control. Right, so guys, I'm going to be talking about what we accomplished over the course of this mentorship. So first of all, like Adele said before, we managed to um, create a new experimental design, and then because of that, we also updated our consent form so the participants would know exactly what the new study would be about. So also, we uh, tested some um, participants with, new with this new study, so we figured out that this works, and then we also scheduled 16 participants for the um, first week of uh, January, and also we learned the science behind um, sugar addiction and brain activity, and also we started drafting our new research paper. And our future goals are to collect more or less about 60 participants, so uh, we know that our study will be efficient, and we also want to analyze and interpret all the collected data. And finally, we are hoping that we can submit our findings into uh, biology research magazines. And this is our, our contacts if you guys are interested in this study or have any questions. Thank you. Thank you.